Hi, Rick here from Rick's Camper Van. This video is all about storage and improving the storage that you have in your Adria Camper Van. Now, this is for uh, vans of 2022 onwards, I believe, that have the storage pockets built into the sliding door and the rear doors. So, um, if you do have the storage in your doors, this is what you should have. You should have a couple of pockets here in the side door and you'll have the same in your back doors. Now, handy little bit of storage, but the issue that I find with them is that this lip here, the, the, the pocket's not overly deep and the lip isn't very high, obviously to give you access. And the problem is I find that when you put things in here, when you're banging the doors open and shutting, they do tend to fall out. As you can see, we put our like Crocs and flip flops in here, which work well because the door opens, as you can see. The flip-flops slide along there, no bother. But what happens quite a lot, when you shut the door repeatedly, eventually these actually just end up falling out. So in this video, what I want to do is I want to fit these nets over the pockets. Now the nets themselves will stop the items that are actually slotted into the door falling out, but also as well, the nets themselves also have pockets, just improving the amount of storage that you have in these pockets. So that is what this video is about. And the good thing about it, it doesn't require any gluing or drilling, etc. All you need is a net, some Velcro, and a pair of scissors. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so this is actually take two, because I literally filmed the whole thing in time lapse accidentally. So redoing it. So as you can see, I've actually got one already put on. One thing I did notice getting the velcro the sticky back velcro to stick to this textured finish was actually quite difficult so when you're buying your sticky back velcro it might be worth going somewhere proper rather than ebay which is where i got it from and it's just not overly sticky but what i'm going to do just to try and make sure i get a bit better this time i'm going to clean the surface first with some isopropanol so we'll just give this a wee clean down both sides I should wipe just in case there's any contaminants on it from when I last cleaned it. Okay, and then we will get our Velcro. In fact, we'll just do use the top one for size. Just gonna nip the uh the little corners off it just stop things catching it and pulling it off it's good practice also looks purdy and we're going to stick it on now the way i've done it i've gone probably from here up the way but what i might do is i might just drop this one down slightly because obviously we've got that one there, so that's one, and then there's two. Now what I'm going to do, just to make sure, I'm going to hit it with the wife's hair dryer, which is what I did on those ones and that made a big difference. It is quite cold today, so that's probably having a bit of an eye person. get the net make sure we got the right way up so you've got the opening part at the top again place it right to the edge and then right to this edge and there we go you're okay so you can put things inside there now it does fall through however obviously if they're inside the plastic piece that will hold them in but then obviously in turn you can put them in there as well so what did you think of that little mod just nice and simple you can do it if you don't like it or it doesn't work for you you can easily remove it and no one will never know it happened what i will do is these nets to get the right size were actually really hard to find there are loads of nets on ebay in lots of different sizes um but finding the ones that have some their, their velcro attached so these are originally designed so that if you had a carpeted wall on say a self-converted camper van they would go straight onto that no problem at all but as i wanted these ones to fit 
these door pockets, getting ones that were actually quite wide. Normally they're quite fat and deep and narrow. Um, so getting ones that were just the right size was actually very hard. So what I'll do is down in the comments, I'll put a link to the uh, Velcro nets themselves. I won't put a link to the Velcro itself, the sticky back Velcro, because that was utterly useless. And obviously you can see the palaver I've gone through just to get that to stick. I might actually have to go back and redo it at a later date if it does keep coming off. Um, so uh, if, if you like these little videos that I'm doing, obviously a thumbs up would be awesome or you could subscribe or even share on a social media group or something like that or just put in the comment that you watched the video and you liked it and that will give me the power to do some more and thank you very much and uh, tune in next week cheers